There you go, guys. There you go, guys. Oh my god. What's up, guys? So today we have a new random gen world, and we're going to be calling this one The Brute. So the general idea of the entire thing is that we will only be using melee weapons. Primarily focused on, like, clubs and sledgehammers and shit like that. Yeah, I'm going to get these first initial quests banged out, and then we'll head toward our trader. All right, that about does it for... uh those beginning quests, we're gonna head to our trader and I we're gonna throw our first couple points into Sexy Rex, one there, two into Strength, and then one more in Sexy Rex so we can actually swing the sledgehammer more than once <laughs> every five seconds. So yeah, the big stipulation on this thing is there's no firearms, there's no bow and arrows. It's just the bat or spears, knives, anything that's a melee weapon, only melee weapons. As of right now, I'm, I'm leaning more toward like clubs and bats just because they're usually a little more reliable than, uh, like a knife or a spear or something like that. So looks like we got a, uh, snow biome touching right to our, uh, our Greenlands biome right here, which is actually kind of nice. It's good to know where that is already because that's primarily where we're going to get our food half the time. Once we get a vehicle up and running, we can, uh, yeah, we can head over to the snow biome, kill some mountain lions, maybe some bears if we're lucky. I'm not sure if that's ever going to be a, a real thing we can actually do with the, the no firearms but we'll give it a shot <laughs> come here lady good night this is why I, I primarily use this thing early game because it just knocks them on their ass oh also I did bump up the XP gain to 200% I just don't really enjoy being low level for a, for a long time so I wanted to be able to bump up as much points as I could as quickly as I could See how interesting we can get these knights to be. Just get a bone knife made up. And then we will continue running. Is that okay? No, the road looked really weird for a second. I th it's just the numbers in front of the freaking road that made it look so funny. All right. Every single one of these zombies are going to be worth killing. Just the pure fact that they give up 200% the XP than normal. Maybe to go with the pure brute idea of this whole thing, we will just go sledgehammers. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think I've ever done a true just straight up sledgehammer thing in the longest time. This used to be my go-to weapon back in like Alpha 17, Alpha 18. But ever since Night T came out, I started using uh, what is the club more often with Pummel Pete and things like that. Just felt more comfortable, but... I think this might be the go-to for this one. It'll give us more of a large swing, too, to deal with larger groups of enemies. Because we're going to level up pretty quick. I think we actually got a... No, okay. We're about halfway. Halfway off of, like, two or three zombies. It's pretty good. Pretty nuts. Dude. Thank you. Um, what we might do tonight, too, is we'll throw a point into, like, advanced engineering so that we can get a iron sledge made up. The quicker we can upgrade these, these weapons, the better. I, I probably want to get at least a level, probably three iron sledgehammer before I even attempt to make one, though. Otherwise, you're just going to be making a new one anyway, way too quickly. Well, it looks like the town we got is, a uh, it's fairly decent size, kind of spread out. But it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. We'll probably end up setting up shop near the trader somewhere. Yeah, probably. And then we'll spend the majority of the first couple of days just looting our asses off and see what we can get. Oh, I don't usually love this the doggos spot. It's kind of sketchy. Especially day one. Way too many dogs to deal with. Even one dog is too much to deal with on day one half the time. Unless you get a lucky blunderbuss right off the rip. It's another POI I'm not a huge fan of taking out either. This is high school. It's good. Well, I don't know. It's, it's pretty good for books. There's quite a few books you can get out of there. It's pretty damn nice. But it looks like we got a Trader Hue, I'm going to guess. And then we got a couple... It's not a whole lot of POIs that are completely and utterly screaming my name, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. We can luck out and have some of his stuff works. That would be really ideal. 
If this stuff works, we will stick around a little closer. But if it doesn't, well, we'll take some duct tape. It's helpful, at least. But yeah, if, if this stuff doesn't work, then we'll only come around when we need to. Anything good? Bunch of crap. Even more crap. I know he's got stuff under as well, too, I think. Yeah, and then there's a way to get back there behind his, uh, his desk so you can grab his crap. Yeah, I think these little... I think these things over here have stuff in them. Yeah, I figured I couldn't take that down, but I'll at least try. Mm, I could have sworn one of these things had something in it. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Thought I was losing my mind. What do we got? I'll take some ammo. Yeah, why not? Maybe he'll have something on it, too, that's uh, worth checking out. Would be nice. All right, here, let's see what you got. But Actually, let's... uh. We'll hop in through this right here, this little hatch. And I really wish you could do more inside these places, because it'd be cool if you could. Yeah, I can't grab that. It's pretty much useless down here. Alright, so this is where his chem station was. I was trying to find his chem station last time. I didn't think to come to look down here. And I think this gives us access to his stash behind him. Oh, okay. So it's locked. Huh. Alright. Fair enough. I thought you could get back there at one point. I guess I'm wrong on that one. Is there a zombie just banging on the freaking wall outside? <laughs> the hell are you doing, Ding Dong? Go away. Go away. Alright. Um, what do we got? Sugar butts, which is good if we had money for it. Um, do we have anything to sell? Not really. We're gonna just live in super close to him anyway. Can I reach that from here? I can, alright. So, at some point, we'll have to try to grab that. Maybe we can get some cheeky food out of this guy, too. Just some real easy food. Yeah, we'll take that. What the hell is that? Oh, here it is. We just got the cooking pot. That'll be helpful. Alright. Talk to you. Maybe grab a job if anything's close. What do we got? Um, okay. Nothing really blow me away here. Not too surprising, day one. A couple books. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to pick those up. Maybe bike chassis, forge schematic. But then again, I could just throw one point into intellect and be done with it. Well, All right. Kind of you don't have a lot of shit. Anyway. What do you got for jobs? That's all way too far away. I'm not even dealing with that. You know, maybe we'll pick one up. Yeah, we'll just grab one and then... Um, actually, you know what? We'll wait till tomorrow. Maybe we'll have closer ones. I don't want to spend the whole day just running around. I want to loot some POIs. If I was a little more geared up, I'd probably hit that school up. But what we'll probably do is start with this little shit shack over here. Oh, this is not even shit shack. We'll start with this big dungeon style house over here. It's a little too big to make it our house, but it's a good enough size. Oh, that, that might work over there. What's up, little rabbit? Yeah, that, that house will work. We can work out of this place for now. It's kind of over here on the, on the end all by itself, but eh. I've lived in worse places. Um, what we can do is we'll drop the this and that and that because we don't need that. Come here, ding dong. Maybe we'll even luck out storage. We'll make one of these because as soon as we get inside, we're gonna need to use it. Now, is this the way in? Feels like it's the way in. Oh yeah. So you got one zambo. What do we get? Intimidation? No. Oh, lady. Thought she was going to keep leaning forward. Oh, this looked open. Weird. Oh, got the overalls. It's calling my name already. Alright, so... 
I'm not putting this box here because I don't want to put the shit there. Come on, break through. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you. All right. Bunch of crap. Keep more crap. Bunch of ammo we're never going to need. Actually, the interesting thing on this one is we can sell all of our ammo. I don't think I've ever been able to do that. Uh, sure. I'm not going to do that right now, but we've got it. Hello, nurse. Sit the fuck down. All right, cool. So I'm trying to keep everything on the first floor so that dropping everything off is just super easy. I don't want to spend a bunch of time every day having to come in. Look for my loot pile. Drop it in there. It's a big pain in the ass. It's just, nobody wants to deal with that. We'll just eat that. Screw it. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, we'll probably just work right out of here, honestly. All right. Oh, you're not even dead yet. Jesus Christ. Yo, lady. Okay. Um... So I can just wear half this stuff. Wear, wear, wear. Throw that on instead. Scrap this, scrap that. All right. Just have a whole mini bike in here. Just have the whole thing in here. We don't need to screw around. We can just get the good stuff right out of the way. Uh, well, I'll take the wheel. That's something. Actually, man, this house is really far away from everything else. It's going to be a pain in the ass to drop everything off. I don't think this is the house. <laughs> as much as I thought this would be it, I don't think this is the place. It's, yeah, it's over here all by itself. We need to be somewhere more centrally located. Because early game looting is all about running around, dropping shit off. It's fun, but it's a pain in the ass. What we could do, though, is get in here. We don't really have to set up a base tonight, do we? Could just get some experience. Get some stuff going. Actually, I think I saw, like, a little sheriff's office. I think I'm looking at it right there. That thing is calling my name. It's small. It looks like it's in the middle of town. It's got a lot of ways to upgrade it. <clears throat> I like smaller bases whenever I, I play this shit. I don't know why. I don't really enjoy uh, having big, large bases for no reason. Yeah, that house looks like it's going to be fine. It's a little close to the trader, so I might have weird trader issues with, like, uh land claim blocks and stuff like that so i might have to check that real quick and if this doesn't work out there's always other ones over here we could check out actually I, I might throw a land claim block down real quick to make sure it isn't all goofed up but if it isn't this looks like a pretty good spot to start because at some point i'm gonna start getting quests for this freaking high school right here probably i mean what better place to be in than just right across the freaking street plus i really like these little cabins for some reason i think they're kind of cool looking they're easy to work out of they're really small all right, so that's not the way they want me to go in. Ah, basement. This is less than ideal to have this down here, but it is what it is. Dude, 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 dude. Why? Bro, why are you so tough? All right, let's get up in here and collect a little of the crap later. So it's a crawler and a mama. Yo, yo, did your body not get the news yet? You're dead. Please sit down. Thank you. Holy crap. I need a weighted head mod so bad. Please stop. Please stop. Thank you. Holy crap. Jesus. Too encumbered to freaking move around. Yeah, regardless, I have to throw some shit down. I, I can't keep running around with stuff on me. It's, it's too much crap. Uh, we'll use this place as our, our base of operations for now. It's close to the trader. It's close to the town. It'll work. Knock this door out so we can put our own damn door in. We'll have to block up that basement tonight. Well, actually, let's put up the... Uh, put this down, otherwise I'm going to forget where I live. I'm that simple, man. I will straight up forget where I am. All right, so I'm not feeling doggos. It's a little too big. 
But the barns are nice for, for loot. Oh, is this the one with the, like, the little... No. Okay, it's just a straight up outhouse. Okay. Let's go check out this barn. And then we'll see what else this other place is to offer. Nice. We got a, like, a little iron deposit real close to the house. Fuck him up real quick. Piggly Wiggly boy. Hey, buddy. I'll leave you alone for now. I think you'd beat my ass, honestly. I'm gonna wait to harvest this stuff until I possibly put some points into the, um... Living off the land perk. Just makes more sense that way, I think. Sit down, lady. Come on, dude. Jesus. Thank you. Alright, we're just gonna keep pumping points into strength. That way we can just start dumping points into sexy racks and then into the sledgehammer one, which I can't remember what the hell What is the sledgehammer one called? Skull Crusher. My bad. Come on. I know you're back there. Hey, big boy. At least we're fast now. Melee is not bad when you're quick. As soon as you're slow, though, you're dead. Down, you big son of a bitch. Oh my god. This boy can take a hit. All right. Takes too many damn hits. What else we got? A couple more jars that'll be useful later. <clears throat> Some nails. Less useful, but we're gonna use cobble for sure for tonight. <clears throat> Get a lot of points just upgrading crap. Considering grabbing the cement, but I might wait. I don't really need it right now, but eh. Part of me was hoping that was a working workbench, but I kind of figured it wouldn't be. All right. It's upstairs, which is over here. I haven't checked one of these barns out in forever. All right. Let's grab the little sneaky loot. Yeah, let's take some peas. Get more of this cobble up. All right. So, what is up here? Bunch of crap. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> that, those points and strength are already starting to show off a little bit. Hell yeah. Whole bunch of gold and freaking silver. That's exactly what we need to freaking get some good shit from the uh, trader. Speaking of the trader, you can see him right out the window. <laughs> what do we got? Ugh, bunch of crap. I don't know what I was expecting out of that thing, but I was not expecting that. I was expecting much better. Alright, we'll get this last little bit of cobble, and then we will head on to the next POI to do some looting. Actually, we're probably going to have to head home and, yeah, dump off a little bit. Alright, let's head home, drop this crap off, and then head over to the next POI. Alright, I want to get this thing uh, blocked up. I, <laughs> I don't trust myself to remember to do this later, so I'm just going to do it right now. <laughs> we're going to do it all the way up to freaking cobblestone at least. Because I have a bad feeling these freaking zombies are going to try to go down there tonight. And then we were going to be just SOL. Should keep them out of there. They should want to go for this door, which we should probably throw one in, huh? Probably wouldn't be the worst idea that we ever had. Right, chuck a door in. Upgrade it a little bit. I think there was a... Maybe we could do the doggo one. We would just have to put up some, um... Some blocks. When we get to the parts where they, it gets a little sketchy. Because there are some parts in here that get a little sketchy. Ooh, we'll take that. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and do the bike, but it never really feels worth it to me. I don't, I don't know why. The bike always feels so clunky compared to just the mini bike in general. Well, I don't think I should have closed this door or come into this bathroom. Oh, hi. Who's got my way? Oh, that was awful to you. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, wow. Pipe bombs. Crossbow, which we can't even use anyway, but whatever, we got it. All right, I think the dogs are, like, in the next room over. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I think they're right in there. Yep, they sure are. Please don't jump over this. Fuck. Fuck. Please don't jump through. 
That's what I was worried about. <laughs> oh, okay. I think we're all right. Should I keep this thing up? Just smashing this asshole in the face. Enough. Go to sleep, kid. Thank you. I think that's all the dogs that are even in here, actually. Just the two. Man, that took like that felt like that took forever. I don't know why. Holy crap. Maybe I just haven't had a freaking level one uh, knife in a long time, but damn, that cutting up two dogs felt like it took forever. Granted, I don't usually have a level one knife this early either. Or uh, I don't usually have two dogs to deal with with a uh, level one knife. So that's probably what it is. <laughs> just not used to it. Come on, give me like a crazy steel sledgehammer or something. I deserve it. I don't think there's more dogs in here, but I'm not actually sure anymore. <laughs> now I'm a little concerned. No, actually, I think the rest is like just random zombies throughout the throughout the building. Gonna have to grab some. Uh, hold on, is there birds out here? Fucking hate birds. Okay, thank God. No birds. What do we got? Anything good? Of course not. Sit down, dude. Sit down, lady. Come on. Come on, your buddy took one. Why gotta be freaking complicated? Why did that get pulled down there? So weird. Somebody's not happy that I'm in this building. <laughs> Well, it sounds like they're coming to smell me out. Are you like right down the hallway? It sounds like it. Hello. Oh, you are right there. Hello. All right. Well, while you do that, I'm going to do this. And yoink. <laughs> All right. I'll help you out. We'll take care of this as a family. Let's do it. Oh, come on. Don't jump. Thank you. Oh. Sneaky motherfucker. That dude tried freaking popping up and touching a little bit. All right, nice. One more thing. Sexy Rex is my primary thing I'm working for, but after that, as soon as that is done, I've got to get my sledgehammer all the way up too. And then if we can somehow get a steel sledgehammer, we will be set forever. I don't think there's more dogs out here, but I'm not actually sure anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how this POI runs through. And uh, the more I do, the, the more nervous I get. The more we go through this place. <laughs> I, I think we're good, though. I think. Well, I guess even if we're not, we still... Oh, yeah, there's two... There's two big boys. That's not ideal. Nope, not ideal at all. Do you want that loot though? Can they get to me up here? That's the real question. Oh, I got a fucking pipe bomb. We could whip that shit over there. Let's try that out. Here you go, guys. Here you go, guys. Oh my god. That dog got fucked up. All right, here, here, catch. Really, that didn't fucking kill you? You needed to die, like, immediately. How did you eat two pipe bombs? Holy crap, dude. <laughs> this poor guy went fucking flying. <laughs> Man, those pipe bombs were clutch. I can't believe how good those worked out. <laughs> I still can't believe that freaking like wolf thing ate the shit out of those things too, though. He didn't give a crap that I hit him with those things. What an animal. What an anvil. Oh, another tire. That's the motorcycle. Whichever one I end up getting, that's that's that sorted. Obviously not the motorcycle. More like the mini bike, probably. Don't need that. Skull cap mod. I guess we could throw that on there, huh? Screw it. Alright. 
Now, we'll head home. Actually, is that dire wolf like right below? Can I can I get his beat? I really could use that. Oh no, no, fuck. Okay. Alright, good deal. Alright, I'm not pooping anything out. That's good. <laughs> Come on. Give me a meat. Let's go. I don't know why it just does this sometimes. There you go. Oh, we had quite a bit on him, too. Jesus Christ. Imagine if I freaking gave that up. That'd have been a crazy waste. Okay. So, we'll head home. Well, I think I have an extra point. No, not yet. Never mind. I lied. I was going to say we're going to get the forge going tonight, but the forge isn't happening tonight. It's more of like a tomorrow thing. But we got a ton of points thrown in this today, which is really nice. Strength's all the way up, almost. Well, it's halfway up. Two more levels into strength, and we've got Sexy Rex maxed, which is actually crazy. And I need to go around, maybe hit a couple trees down. And get ready to be able to do everything for the night. We could probably do maybe one more POI, actually. If I really think about it. Uh, so Doggos is done. The barn's done. What the hell? That's Oh, that's like the mine thing. Never mind. We're not doing the mine thing. It's too late for that. Um, is there a smaller-ish POI that has like... Uh, how big is that Metalworks place? Looks kind of small, actually. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. We'll check this one out. Is it locked? Unlocked? Hey. Ooh. Is that a bird? Or a crawler? Kind of sounds like a crawler. Oh, a burn boy. These guys always look so fucking cool to me. I like... These are my favorite looking models in the game, I think. They look really neat. Right, we'll check that out right now, actually. Immediately. What do we got? Just a bag? Ooh, a whole can, man. Don't spoil me. Oh, some ammo. A little, a little more promising. It's a little better. Okay. What else we got? Oh, a fucking dog. Fuck. Now we want a day one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was not ready for a dog to be in here. Man, it's almost telling me to start the farm. With how much freaking... What do you want to call it? The rotten flesh I've got. No oh, pain pills. All right, so it's hook me up a little bit. Might have to actually use those pretty soon. We got anything good in here? Question mark. Doesn't look like it. Medical supplies. That's pretty much it. Oh, what the hell? It's a random. Somebody just shoving their person there. It's cool. Okay. So up it is. It's just Kenny hanging out in the hallway. Sit down, dude. Oh, shit. At least they fix really quickly. If those were slow, I'd be having a bad time, probably. Oh, shit. This goes over here? Okay. I wasn't expecting to, like, go to another POI. Please stop. Please die. Nope. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Touch. Don't touch me. Oh, shit. Woo! Bye-bye, leg. <laughs> what are you doing, guys? I'm just letting my stamina get back up, and we're gonna go back inside. Come on, dumb shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Kill him. Die. Jesus. Thank you. Oh, Mo. I don't want to deal with you, dude. Oh, fuck. That's going to break. Oh, no, it didn't break. Weird. That floor looked like it was going to smash in about a thousand pieces, honestly. Hell yeah. Here we go. All right. What do you got? Anything good? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, 
<laughs> An ARS mod. My buddy has the hardest time. Well, we had the hardest time finding one of those at one point. Of course, we got the blunderbuss day one. Now that I don't need it. And a generator. Okay, that's random as hell, but we'll take it. Okay, let's head down. Oh, okay, so this is just up where we were. Got it. All right, let's get some... Uh, I need some wood before I, I go back home. That way we can upgrade the base a bit tonight. All right, let's get uh, maybe like one or two more trees and we'll head back to the house. And then tomorrow I definitely want to get a forge going so we can get some iron um, sledgehammers going. Let's say if we can get our hands on a steel sledgehammer schematic, these things are going to come in handy whenever we want to grab all the uh, steel out of them. I'm actually glad we got this thing cleared up today, so I don't have to freaking worry about that later on. I'll get one more tree. Fuck it. Alright, so we're back home. That brings us in tonight. We'll go ahead and we'll throw up a uh, torch, get this place lit up a little bit so it's not so spooky. And yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for uh, for day one. Going in tomorrow, yeah, we're going to go into advanced engineering level one, and we're going to start putting some points, I think, into Skull Crusher. Yeah, we'll see how long we can survive with just using the melee weapon. So we'll pick this up on day two and uh, have a good one, guys.